And if he ever meets with her, they must be a mahram. And it shouldn't be a habit. It should be something based on necessity. They want to discuss some important matters, then they may do so with the presence of her maharim, hers or his. But it cannot be, you know, uh, dating. There's no dating between an uh, engaged couple in Islam. Clear? You mean to say that they can get into discussions? Like they can discuss? Yeah, in the presence of her relatives. Of course, Akhi. I mean, we're not that. I mean, Islam is, is a very uh, reasonable, you know, uh, religion. You're not going to marry a woman without ever speaking to her, knowing you know nothing about her. You are expected to get something going on, especially in this day and time. Back then, uh, the way the culture worked, it's like it's known. This girl from this family, everything about her is known. So they would already know about her religious commitment. Today, everything is hidden. So there's more to it. You have to find out her you know, attitude, her so on and so forth. So you may speak according to necessity in the presence of other mahar. Clear? Khairan. Is taking pictures, if taking pictures wrong, then why does the... <coughs> okay, I will not answer that question. That reminds me, I will give you another, uh, I will answer this question by giving you another story. I was walking back from Salat al-Isha tonight, and there was a man smoking. So I told him, Ya Akhi, do you realize that while you are smoking, you are forcing me to smoke with you? I mean, I have to walk this route to go to my house. And you smoking is forcing me to smoke with you. Secondhand smoke is very dangerous. And Allah, that's not fair. It's not fair what you're doing to yourself. It's not fair what you're doing to other Muslims. You know, you know it's haram. He said, yeah, I know it's haram. But this country allows it. <laughs> I said, okay. If this country said zina is halal, Will you stand before Allah on the day of judgment and say, Allah, I know you said zina is haram in the Quran, but you know, the, the country where I was living said it's halal, so it's halal? I said, what is this rationale, ya akhi? I said, what is this rationale? You know it's haram. You're going to blame other people, the country, the, the... What does that have to do? What do you have to do? Your relationship is with Allah. With Allah, not with the people. No one is perfect out of the Prophet sallallahu No one. So if they made mistakes and everyone is, we make mistakes, we, we make dua for them and we don't go against them. We have uh, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah with very clear teaching as to how to deal with the people in charge. We're not ma maniacs and, and fanatics when it comes to that. But whatever the case may be, assuming something had happened, does that justify our disobedience to Allah? Take a picture, whoever is taking a picture, whether they, what they're doing is right or wrong. What does it have to do with your understanding? If what I said is convincing to you, inshallah the whole world takes pictures as haram for you because you were convinced by my speech. If I didn't convince you, then it doesn't matter anymore. Because maybe other people who are taking pictures are not convinced either. So that's the bottom line. Each one should look. Is this, is this sahih? Is this authentic? Does it make sense? If it makes sense to you, then don't worry about the rest of the people. If it doesn't make sense to you, then if other, people's are, uh, other people are still doing it, because to them also it didn't make sense. So this is between them and Allah, I will not judge them. Maybe they're, they're better than all of these. Maybe tens of people taking pictures are better than tens of people not taking pictures. I'm not saying that this is better than that. Everyone has a relationship with Allah. Allah knows who is sincere, who is doing it out of desires, who is doing it to pose, who is doing it so he can look handsome on Facebook, and who is doing it because he thinks it's halal. Allah knows. I cannot judge them, but I say according to the Quran and the Sunnah and the statements of the ulama, they said this is haram. If it is not convincing to you, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, it's between you and Allah. Is that clear? Beautiful. Any other questions? Uh, Musab, uh, if uh, we have a wedding but it requires travel, it requires travel by airplane, uh, and it's actually during the week, so during a work week, is it is it okay not to... Um, answer that doubt? My understanding is by informing the, the hosts that you have a, a, an obstacle which is preventing you from going and, and usually they were not going to tell you, no, you have to come anyways, they tell you fine. But you inform them, you don't just, not you know, not show up, yeah. Otherwise they may assume something evil. So, you know, you don't want to ruin their, their good night by just not showing up. You call them, say, I'm, I'm sorry, I, have, I don't have means or transportation. You, you come, you have an excuse. No. No. Yes, sir. Nowadays, uh, children are forced to draw this during the syllabus. And is it for, uh, for the no, it's not. No, and there's no such thing as children are forced to draw. The school curriculum. Uh, the, even the school curriculum. They cannot force you to draw a man. You want me to draw? I draw a plant, a tree, a house. You're going to tell me that I have to draw a man? Ajeeb, yani. 
I, I would wonder what kind of teacher would have this attitude. I would go as a parent, speak to him, say, Akhi, what do you want from my son? And that you're testing his art? He's very artistic in drawing a house or a car. Why do you insist on a human being? Why do you insist? I mean, you cannot. Logically, you cannot. So you, you fight for your children. Say, I don't want my child to draw anything. Khalas, give him a zero on art. Allah will give him a, in Jannah something much better. You know, that's the attitude. If they don't like it, they can take a hike. We have the sunnah which is more beloved to us and art will not make him fail. If he's going to be a successful businessman, trust me, inshallah, he will do it even if the art teacher gave him a zero. Ta beautiful. Zakam la khayran. Inshallah, everybody's feeling good. You're not traumatized. The hospital is right here. You can go see a doctor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanakallah, bihamdik, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, astaghfiruka, atubu alayhi wa sallam.